Hello and welcome to the latest Race to the Top update from GFSI. My name is Erica Sheward and I am the director of GFSI, a coalition of action of the Consumer Goods Forum. I hope you've all enjoyed an excellent summer. We have certainly been very busy here at GFSI, pushing ahead with all of our work around the Race to the Top. This month, I'd like to share updates with you about our consultation, which has closed on the auditor training and professional development work, uh, additions to our steering committee, and also a new call for participation will be opening for Codex Group. So, let me begin with the auditor training and professional development work. Thank you very much to all of you who took the time and trouble to respond to the first stage of our consultation. I apologise for the slight delay in responding to the consultation. That is a testament to the volume of feedback that we had and the fact that we're taking much of it on board and integrating it into the next phases of the work. We will be uh, launching a podcast where we'll be answering all of your questions and many of you I know attended the webinar this week where we heard from some experts in the industry about their vision for how they will integrate their work with ours. The next phase of the ATBD work will involve another consultation revolving around the implementation of this feature and we will again be asking for you to take the time and trouble to tell us what you think and how that will work for you moving forward. We're very excited about the prospects for this work in terms of the, of the value it will bring to improving auditor competence and training. So thank you all again, and we'll be giving you some more updates on ATBD very shortly. So let me turn next uh, to our steering committee. Many of you will have seen the announcement uh, welcoming some new members to the steering committee, and we're very excited to be hosting a hybrid meeting for our steering committee next week in Paris. So quickly after that, you will be able to download a summary of the four-day meeting uh, with the agenda and all of the key talking points. So watch out for that week commencing the 4th of October. Many of you are very familiar with the work that we do on benchmarking and harmonisation and also on our capability building work. But less familiar perhaps are many of you with our public-private partnership work. This stream of work is led by my colleague Anne Girardi and she is very excited to offer a call for participation coming very soon um, which coincides with a relaunch of our Government to Business Forum. Anne will be asking for those of you in our community who are interested in regulatory and public affairs to volunteer to join our Codex Working Group. This is an essential group for us, committed and dedicated to supporting the work that Codex does and GFSI's work with Codex in terms of international standards. In other updates from our regions, uh, we also launched a call for participation for our EMEA local group. Thank you again to many of you who applied and we're sifting those applications and we'll be announcing the local group members very shortly. Finally, last but by no means least, we are excited to be shaping plans potentially for our GFSI conference next year. We will, you should be able to expect an announcement soon on a date and a venue, so watch this space. Thank you very much for listening. I look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye.